Hey, what's up guys? It's Lucas and you're watching Fine Tuning. So I'm a little behind on my video stuff because I've been doing some cool stuff on the side that's been eating up a lot of my time. We're going to be unboxing and then doing a demo. Um, this PRS MT15 amplifier. All right, I got this little rolling table here. It's gonna make things a little easier. So let's open it up. It's a box within a box. Okay, box number two, same thing. Okay, this is the slip cover, which is a nice touch. Oh yeah, it's almost like a little like a little carry case, because it's got a hole in the top for the handle to come through. So you just kind of drop it down in there. So that's cool. It says Paul Reed Smith on it. Alright, here's our user manual. Nice sturdy power cord. That's a good hefty one. And I'm gonna guess this is probably the foot switch. Yeah. So this amp has one foot switch little feature, which is the channels. So it's just a one button foot switch. So you switch between clean and dirty. Oh, here we go. This is here. Here we go. That is pretty heavy. <laughs> Which is fine. Heavy usually means sturdy. All right, so you can see we have presence, master for the lead channel, bass, middle, and treble for the clean channel. Clean channel has a pull boost function. And then you have the volume, which is just how loud your clean channel is. It has no gain control. Um, and then you have bass, middle, and treble for your dirty channel, and then your gain control for the dirty channel. And then, of course, a little switch here, which lets you switch between clean and dirty. We've got a 16 ohm jack, two 8 ohm jacks. You can bias this uh, externally, which is really cool. So if you want to change tubes, it's really easy to rebias to whatever tubes you put in it. And then you've got a full power and half power switch. Um, full power is supposed to be 15 watts, and then half power would be like 7 or 8 watts. I'm going to uh, plug it in and get to know it a little bit, and then I will shoot the second part of this, the demo, which we'll get to in just a minute. So, all right, time travel. <laughs> All right, so let's check out some tones. So uh, let me just really quickly tell you how I've got it set up here. So I have the MT-15 plugged into um, my torpedo captor right here, and that is just a load box, basically, that lets me uh, record the amp directly with an impulse response so that I don't have to have it mic'd up in a cabinet in the room and it'd be like blisteringly loud because it is a very loud amp. Let's, uh, let's go through and check out what it sounds like. So we're gonna start with a clean sound here. Oh, and I'm using my PRS uh, Tremonti guitar which has the PRS metal pickups in it. I have just a little bit of reverb in the effects loop, but other than that, it's just a dry, clean sound, and that sounds like this. Sounds really good for like finger picking kind of stuff, which is awesome, you know. It just sounds killer, and that's without adjusting any of the EQ controls, it's just with everything kind of you know, dial halfway up. So the drive channel, again, I have everything halfway up and if I don't do anything to it and just leave it the way it is, that sounds like this. definitely has the chug factor. I would describe this amp as kind of like 
a hybrid of like a like a kind of dark woofy Bogner sound with that rolled off top end, but it's got that kind of girth of like a rectifier. Let's uh, hop over to the clean channel again, and what I'm gonna do is kind of just play with the controls a little bit and see if I can dial in something that I really like for like a clean kind of finger picked sound. <laughs> Was for me super easy to dial in like I barely had to do any work to it I just kind of rolled a little bit of the bass out brought in some treble and some presence and that was pretty much the sound that I like right there this channel also has um, a pull boost function on the treble control so if I pull it out it's going to kind of give it a little bit of extra dirt <laughs> but then if I put it in single coil mode in the neck pickup Okay, so now we're back over on our drive channel and I thought I might just try and sort of dial in this to sound the way that I like it to sound. So just starting with this. That has so much gain. <laughs> That's so, so gainy. Um, so that's the first thing I'm gonna do is roll the gain back because these are really high output pickups and it doesn't need that much gain. <laughs> Yeah, see that's with the gain at like nine o'clock and that is starting to be more in the realm of what I would use as like a uh, good recording rhythm heavy tone because you, don't re you really don't want as much gain as you might think when you're recording because it just turns to mush. <laughs> Honestly, that tone right there, as it is, just everything straight up and just kind of turn the game back. You could totally record a whole record with that and it'd sound killer. Um, you know, maybe I might bring in like a little bit more treble in mid and kind of maybe turn the bass down a little. just kind of ups the aggression factor a little bit but man like again just barely any adjustments at all and it just sounds killer it's just a wickedly good sounding amp let's check it out in kind of like a lead setting i'm still in the lead channel but i'm turning on a little tube screamer type pedal down here it's a hardwire cm2 and i've added some delay and reverb in the effects loop just to kind of give it a little space <laughs> Well, my fingers are a little out of shape as far as lead playing goes, but um, 
man, it just lends itself to that style of playing, which is like one of my all time favorite styles of playing. <laughs> so that works out great for me. Um, so one notable feature we haven't touched on yet is that it does have a half power switch and that switches it from the 15 watts. Um, I say that with air quotations because like I have never heard a 15 watt amp sound so loud. <laughs> but it switches it from 15 down to more like seven or eight-ish watts. So um, hopefully this will translate because I'm not micing it up and I'm, I am gonna use a little limiter to kind of bring the volume of everything up a little bit. But um, here's the clean sound and then I'll flip the switch. So now let's do the same thing with the drive sound. So this is um, all the way full power. To me, it's a bit more noticeable in that position because of the way the gain structure works. Um, it's not a huge volume difference, but it does definitely noticeably affect the way the guitar feels, the way it responds. So I kind of liken it to if you've ever had a rectifier, like a dual or a triple rectifier, they have that switch in the back for vacuum tube rectification or silicone diodes. And it kind of reminds me of that a little bit, like when you put it on the tube rectifier, it's like a little saggier, a little softer feeling, um, which is really good, especially for kind of like certain sounds and like lead guitar and stuff like that. Whereas the diodes are bigger and like tighter and they have like a, like a massive bottom end that doesn't give at all, which is great for metal rhythm guitar playing. So that's kind of what it feels like to me. So um, I like it both ways, honestly, like in the up position where it's full power, it sounds killer. <laughs> got that huge woofy bottom end but that's like fat and tight um, and then if you you know take it down then it's just a little a little more compressed <laughs> But yeah, I just think this amp sounds incredibly good and it's very reasonably priced, which is awesome too. Super rugged, built like a tank. Um, and it's it's heavy and so loud. I mean, you could absolutely gig with this amp, like no problem. Like somebody was asking me on Facebook uh, if you could, if this would keep up with a drummer. And the answer to that is yes. Yes, it most definitely will keep up with the drummer, especially if you're using like a 212 or 412 cabinet, like no question. <laughs> I'll play some Alter Bridge riffs now and hopefully I won't get uh, copyright strikes for that. So let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there you go, that's the PRS MT15 uh, Lunchbox Head of Doom. Um, like I said, it just sounds killer. It's really easy to dial in. It nails exactly the sounds that you would think this amp would do. Uh, just, just right out of the gate, super easy. Uh, barely an inconvenience. So uh, anyway, go check one out. I think they're awesome and it, it's worth every penny of what it costs. So uh, until next time, I will catch you later. Bye.